Special thanks to Patreon supporter Koya for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare Tool here bringing you another Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building German aircraft carrier Graf Zeppelin. Graf Zeppelin was a lead ship in a class of two carriers of the same name ordered by the Kriegsmarine of Nazi Germany. She was the only aircraft carrier launched by Germany and represented part of the Kriegsmarine's attempt to create a well-balanced ocean-going fleet capable of projecting German naval power far beyond the narrow confines of the Baltic and North Seas. The carrier would have had a complement of 42 fighters and dive bombers. Construction of Graf Zeppelin began on December 28, 1936, when her keel was laid down at the Dutch Work Shipyard in Kiel. Named in honor of Graf, which translates to Count, Ferdinand von Zeppelin. The ship was launched on December 8, 1938, and was 85% was complete by the outbreak of World War II in September 1939. Graf Zeppelin was not completed and was never operational due to a shifting construction priorities necessitated by the war. She remained in the Baltic for the duration of the war. With Germany's defeat imminent, the ship's custodian crew scuttled her just outside Stettin in March 1945. The Soviet Union raised the ship in, Mar in March 1946 and she was ultimately sunk in weapons tests north of Poland 17 months later. The wreck was discovered by a Polish survey ship in July of 2006. So yeah, the Graf Zeppelin here, a um, very, I guess you can say somewhat iconic carrier, mainly just due to the fact that it was never really completed, uh, funny enough. Uh, the ship itself would have been a pretty uh, big menace, I would say, to... Um, the allied forces in the Atlantic but as we kind of saw uh, very quickly the allied surface ships were able to take control of the seas for the most part and Graf Zeppelin I can presumably say was either going to be a port queen or would have been probably sunk in one of her operations against the vast um, allied powers of uh, or vast naval um, surface fleet uh, power that they had so um, she definitely would have um, been an interesting would have changed the course of the war probably not but still a pretty cool ship to kind of uh take a look at and to uh to build so the ship here uh building it based off the best of my knowledge as this was a ship that was never fully completed our kind of plans for it are a little sketchy but using a couple of various uh models and um stuff like that and blueprints i was able to kind of come up with a design which i feel is pretty close to what you would probably see the graphs up and looking like and it is a really cool and unique looking carrier i guess you can say it's got a very uh interesting look to it that i really actually do like so yeah the graphs up pretty cool carrier and uh we'll make an awesome addition to any of your bafta build fleets we have a lot of german ships and this ship here is definitely going to add to that um you know severe uh german firepower we do have in our surface fleets uh for our world war ii section before we go ahead and dive in and take a look at the build i do want to go ahead and give special thanks to patreon supporter patreon supporter koya for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you already do feel free to check my patreon page link is always in my video descriptions where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing it really helps support the work i do on my channel is really greatly appreciated so definitely feel free to check that out again link is down in the video description with that though, let's dive in here and take a look at um, Graf Zeppelin. So, starting off with, we have basically the ship as a whole right here. A uh, pretty standard carrier, you have your, um, obviously, hull of the ship. The uh, would be the hangar deck on the inside here, so it sits a bit taller. All these lifeboats, which are kind of unique for the Graf Zeppelin. A lot of uh, lifeboat opportunities there on the side of the ship. It also has some casemate 5-inch guns, if I remember correctly, um, that are located basically right there. And also on the back there, so... A uh, nice uh, complement of um, arms there, and or casemate guns for a little bit more firepower. Lots of uh, anti-aircraft batteries all on the side here. We have um, the uh, all the lifeboats there again, as I mentioned. The flight deck up here, which has a lot of good detail into it. Obviously, the German marking on the top on the front of the ship there, and then we have the whole flight deck as a whole. So pretty nice looking. And as we uh, approach the back here, we have the kind of uh, fantail here the not fantail the uh aft deck basically um so start of the ship and then on the other side here again some more anti-aircraft craft gun positions you have your little crane here um as well as your uh complement i believe these are 15 centimeter guns so a uh, very common gun complement on a lot of um a lot of uh, german 
ships. Um, this actually could be the 10.5 centimeter. Actually, I think these are 10.5 centimeter. I'm going to say these are 10.5 centimeter. But uh, yeah, very common armament that's also seen a lot of the German cruisers and uh, capital ships. Then we have the whole uh, basically superstructure here. A lot of, uh, you know, equipment, all that stuff. Um, basically all that. So you got your masts, all that. The uh, funnel and that's really about it. Overall, pretty impressive looking carrier, and I would say probably one of my favorite kind of BAFTA build carriers I've done for the World War II era in uh, quite a, quite some time. I think it's a nice looking carrier and definitely uh, very unique compared to the other ones we've done. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, so moving into our first layer here, we're going to be going ahead and beginning with layer one. Now a few things I want to mention before we go ahead and jump into this tutorial. The first is going to be if you're completely new to my BAFTA build tutorials, especially these larger ships, then... Um, Basically, the way I like to structure this, I like to do basically half on, half off for the first few layers. So we're going to be building the center line of the ship, and then the right side, it'll be up to you guys to take what we do on the right side and copy it over the left side. We'll do this for the first about three layers, and then from there on, we'll be doing the layers all together. These uh, first three layers are pretty much completely symmetrical, and we start to get into the asymmetry around layer four. So once we get to the asymmetry, we'll do it all together as it makes it a little bit easier. But for the first layers, since they're pretty simple and straightforward, we can do half, and it's pretty self-explanatory on how to do the other side. Um, in addition, if you do want to build the ship in the water very important you do need to go ahead and make sure that you build this obviously properly height now this uh, layer one here is going to basically sit one block below the surface of the water so you can see here this represents our water surface and you can see the start here these brick top slabs very important to make sure that's correct if not it's going to sit really weird in the water and it's not going to look right um, once you have the finished build so again make sure that this is the correct height in the water and we can go ahead and get started here now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be placing down our row of brick top slabs. This right here is going to be a long row that's going to extend all the way to the rear of the ship. This is going to be a total of 48 blocks in length. After that, uh, we're going to go then go to the sides. So we're going to go and go start off our front side. So this is going to be our forever ship facing this way. We're going to place. We're going to go ahead and count back one, two, three, four, five. Our six brick top slab. We're going to go ahead and do the side with another brick top slab like so. Going back from this slab, we're going to go ahead and count back one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39 brick top slabs back. And this right here should be a total of 40 uh, altogether along the side there. Our next uh, row out to the side, we're going to go to the side of this row we just placed. We're going to count back 1, 2, 3, four, five, and our six brick top slab here. We're going to go out to the side with one more slab. Then we're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and thirty-one brick top slabs back. So this right here should be a total of thirty-two. Just like that all inside. Then going to our uh, back of our ship. So back here, we're going to go, ahead and go to our third and fourth brick uh, top slabs from the back there. We're going to place down two acacia wood trap doors coming off those. We're going to go then go forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 brick slabs. And then 1 and 2 acacia wood trap doors forward from that. So looking at from above here, this we should have the top down view with layer 1 complete. You'll take the same thing we did on the right side, copy over to the left side, and this right here is what you should have. With that all complete, that's going to wrap up everything we have there for layer one. And with that, we'll be moving on to layer number two. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two to get started with here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five red concrete blocks on top of those middle, or the, yeah, that middle row there of brick top steps there in the front. After that's done for the front, we're going to go then go to the rear of the ship. We're going to place down a red concrete block on top of this brick top step here. We're going to build one more block back and then two brick top steps and then a acacia wood trap door after that. And that right there is going to kind of create our center line on the back and also on the front there. We're going to go and then start working our way out to the side here. Beginning with our front, we're going to go and go to our middle red concrete block. We're going to place down two red stained glass panes, one coming off this block and then going back. Then a brick wall. We're going to go and then place down one, two, three, four, five red concrete blocks. Then a brick wall to the side of the last one, two red stained glass forward. Same thing going back from this brick wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, red concrete blocks this time. And then one, two, three brick walls and one and two red stained glass panes. Then going back from this uh, brick wall here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four 
red concrete blocks back. We're gonna go and then place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a second upside down stair, and then a brick top slab. Behind this uh, this uh, brick stair, upside down stair here, we're gonna place down a red concrete block, as well as right next to this top slab, like that going back. Now, after we have that done there, we wanna go ahead and then place down a um, red concrete block on top of this slab here. Then we're gonna go ahead and place down one and two more slabs back from that. We'll then wanna grab some acacia wood fence gates, some end rods, and some birch wood slabs. We're gonna place down a acacia wood fence gate coming off this red concrete block here, and also coming off this block right here. Now, if you're on Java, or really if you're, what it comes down to is if you're building the ship in the water, you'll have to find an alternative to these end rods. You can use chains, um, as I don't believe they disappear underwater, or you can use um, uh, acacia wood fence gates all the way across here. But what I like to use here is I like to use end rods to build back. So we're gonna place down two end rods. Now this is perfect if you're building the ship out of water, kind of as a model on your world, then this word here will work perfect. However, if you are wanting to build this in the water and all that, which is totally understandable, again, chains or um, acacia wood fence gates would work in this case. We're gonna go ahead and place down a birchwood slab going back from the end rod. After that, we're gonna place down another end rod going back from this fence gate and another birchwood slab after that. We're gonna go ahead and place down a acacia wood fence or sorry, trap door coming off this slab here, and then another trap door coming off this one, and we're gonna close it like that. So it creates your rudders there, and that right there completes the stern there of your ship. Now with that complete, we wanna go ahead and then go to the sides of the ship. We're gonna start off by going ahead and going to this very outer row right here. We're gonna count out to our uh, red concrete blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and go one, two, and our third block back, we're gonna place down a red stained glass paint at the side, then one, two, three walls back. We're gonna go ahead and take our brick walls, place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm gonna go ahead and double check my count here, and it should be twelve. So twelve brick walls in total, and then we're gonna place down one, two, three, and four red stained glass panes after that. And after you have that all done right there, that should basically complete everything you need there for layer two. Taking a look at it from above, this is what it should look like for the top down view. At this point in time, you also have the option of filling the inside in here with red concrete if you do want to. It's something you don't need to, but for me, I like my bills to kind of be more solid. So filling this in is what I like to do. Uh, but again, it's not completely necessary. It won't affect the rest of the build. Um, but yeah, that's just a couple things to mention there. And that right there is going to conclude layer two. With that, let's move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer three. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this layer here will be the last layer we will be doing the half on half off. At the, after this, we will be going ahead and doing uh, basically both sides all together as we start to get into the complicated sections, which involve basically all the uh, detail on the side of the hole and all that stuff. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into this layer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with the front of the ship here. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five stone full blocks. So just like we did for the previous layer, just filling that space in there. Then going to the rear of the ship, we're just going to place down a stone block on top of this uh, acacia wood trap door, and then a light gray stainless pane going back from that. And that's it for your center line. Going back to the f up to the front, we're going to start working our way out to the sides. On our last stone block here, we're going to place down an anti wall, and then two light gray stainless panes forward. Going back from the stone wall, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five stone blocks, a anti wall, and then two light gray stained glass panes going forward. We're going to go ahead and then go back from the wall, one, two, three, four, five, six stone blocks, and then we're going to go ahead and go out to the side, one, two, three andesite the walls, and one, two light gray stained glass panes. Taking our stone blocks, we're going to go ahead and then go back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 stone blocks back. Again, double checking my count here, it will be 28 blocks in total. We're gonna go ahead and then place down an inside wall, and then two light gray stainless panes going back from that wall. On the inside here, we're gonna place down three stone blocks. On the inside there are the glass panes and wall. We then wanna go ahead and after those stone blocks, we're gonna place down an additional stone block back, followed by a stone upside on stair, and a stone top slab like so. On the inside here, on top of this fence gate, we're gonna place down a stone block, and then we're just gonna go ahead and go back one, two, three uh, stone blocks back, and then we're gonna place down a stone upside down stair here on the very back. And after we have that all done there, we're gonna go ahead and then focus our attention here to the sides of the ship. Now for the sides of our ship here, we're gonna go and start off by taking some iron trap doors, and we're gonna go to our third stone block. We're gonna place down one, two, three, four iron trap doors. We then want to take our light gray stainless panes. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 of those um, glass panes going back. And then after that, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our 
uh, iron trap doors here. We're going to place down uh, again one, two, three, four, like that along the side. And we're going to go ahead and skip a space and then we're going to place down one, two, three iron trap doors. Now, at this point right here, um, if you're on Java, we can go ahead and type in the command slash give space at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. And this will get us a tool here that we can actually use to close these trap doors without a redstone source. Now, if you're on a different version, kind of changing these will be a little difficult. You can place down some redstone uh, blocks behind these trap doors. The only problem is, is that you will have some of these sections that will be visible from this above here. So the best thing to do really is to probably use birchwood trap doors instead. Those are a good alternative instead of the iron trap doors. But again, you can use the red sandstone blocks behind it. And just when you have these with the top up blocks showing like it would be right here. Um, you can go ahead and cover that up with some like gray carpet or something. But for our tutorial here, uh, since we're on Java, we will use the debug stick here. And we can very simply use the debug stick here by left clicking the iron trap doors until we get selected open false. We can right, then right click and actually set this to true and it'll actually close those trap doors and lay them flat against the surface. Now we're only going to do it for the rows of four. So this section here and this section here. This row three on the back here, we are going to leave as iron trap doors, just like that. We will not be modifying that any further. So it's just going to stay as it is, like so. And once we have that all done, that is going to be squee be it for this layer. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything and everything does appear to be good to go. So again, taking a view from up, up above here, this is what it should look like for the top down view. And that right there will conclude everything we have there for layer number three. And with that, let's go ahead and move on up to layer number four. Alright guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer 4. At layer 4 here, this is where things start to get a little bit more complicated. We have a lot of uh, different asymmetry going on, and a, there's a lot going on. So these next, uh, probably about 3 layers are going to be kind of longer layers as we kind of build up the uh, size of the ship and really cover the most detailed parts of the build. So just be prepared for that, um, and just make sure to take your time and make sure everything is lining up on both sides. With that though, let's go ahead and dive into it. To begin with, we're going to place down a stone block on top of this one right here in the front, and we're going to go ahead and place down a light gray stain must paint coming off that block going toward the front. On both sides of this block, we are going to place down an acacia wood button. Going back from this, we're going to place down an additional two more blocks, so one, two, and two light gray stain must paints to the side of those two blocks. On the second glass pane, we're going to place down an item frame to both sides, and in that item frame, we want to go ahead and place down a crossbow. And we're going to go ahead and rotate the crossbow so it faces downwards like so to resemble that of the anchor on the side of the bow. Going back again, we're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood plank in the center. This is going to be followed up with an anisite wall to both sides. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone block going back from those two blocks there, or from those two walls. And from those stone blocks, we want to go ahead and go back a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And over here, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. After that, in the center here, we're going to go ahead and place down one, two, three, four, and five more spruce wood planks, and then one stone block right there. To the sides here, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished black stone buttons. And on our first four blocks, we're going to place down polished black stone buttons. Same thing over here. We're going to go and then grab a stone brick wall, as well as an end rod. We're going to place down a stone brick wall on top of this inside wall with an end rod going forward. Going back from that, we're going to place down a light gray stain must paint. Same thing will be done over here on this side. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a, a row of one, two, three, four stone blocks going back and one, two, three, four. We're going to go ahead and go off the first stone block. We're going to place down a stone brick wall and an end rod going forward. Same thing over here, like so. Then go back from that, we're going to place down a light gray stain must paint on both sides, and then two andesite walls. At this point in time, we will now be going ahead and splitting our two sides as this right here is where things start to break off and become asymmetrical. So beginning with the right side of our ship, we're going to go back from this andesite wall with a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stone blocks. On the side of these stone blocks, we are going to be placing down polished black stone buttons all the way along the side there, so you should have seven. We then want to place down a stone block that goes back like this, so kind of on the inside there. And then we're going to place down two gray carpet, or sorry, gray concrete blocks like so. We're going to go then place down a stone block here, and then a second one out to the side with a polished black stone button on the side. We're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing again. So two gray concrete, two stone blocks, polished black stone button. And again, we're going to do the same thing one more time. Like so. So you should have basically three of those cubbies now on the right side. We then want to go ahead and go back with two gray concrete blocks, 
then a stone block, then an andesite wall. Then what we want to do next is grab a quartz slab, uh, smooth quartz, uh, and we're going to place on two smooth quartz slabs right here. Our next little uh, compartment here is going to be two gray concrete blocks, stone block, andesite wall, and then a smooth quartz uh, block right there. And then we want to go and then grab ourselves a smooth quartz stair, we're going to place it here, and then a birchwood sign on the side of the stair. After that, we want to go and then place down again two gray concrete blocks going back, a another quartz stair like so, a birchwood sign on the side, and a quartz slab, and then again a uh, two stone blocks this time going across, and after that we'll follow, we'll follow this up with a polished black stone button here. Then after that, uh, we want to go and then place down a nearest stone block like this going back, and coming off the side of that stone block, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass paint. And at this point in time, that's going to do it for our right side there, and we're going to go ahead and now cover our left side. So our left side here, we're going to go ahead and go to this section here of the ship. So after the walls here, we're going to place down a polished black, or a st sorry, a stone block like so, and a polished black stone button. We want to then grab our iron trap doors, we're going to place down one, two. And on the inside here, we're going to grab our gray concrete and place down two blocks here. We're going to go then place down two stone blocks, and then a iron trap door coming off this one right here, extended out to the side. We're also going to go ahead and place down another polished black stone button. That will be coming off the side of this block here. After that, uh, in this section here, we're going to go ahead and place down two quartz slabs. So, one, two. And then two gray concrete. And then a stone block. And then we're going to go ahead and grab an andesite wall. And we're going to place down an andesite wall right here. Next row here is going to be a uh, quartz. So, we'll grab a smooth quartz stair. We're going to place down a smooth quartz stair here. Smooth quartz slab. Two gray concrete blocks. Stone and a set wall, and we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing. So it's going to be a, a set of two gray concrete blocks, then it's going to be a quartz stair, quartz slab, and then we're going to go ahead and repeat the same thing again. Stone block, and a set wall, two gray concrete blocks, quartz stair, quartz slab, and then two stone blocks this time. And then we're going to place it on a second row of two, like this going along the side there. We're going to go ahead and grab polished black stone buttons on the side of these two stone blocks. We're going to place down two buttons like so, as well as placing a birchwood sign on the side here of these quartz stairs. Now, once we have that all done there, we're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and some white beds. We're going to place down item frames on the side here of these walls, so like so, and we're going to go ahead and place down white beds in those item frames turned sideways. At this point in time, also, we'll go ahead and, if you're on Java, we'll place a birchwood sign on the side of this wall along with this item frame. Note that this is going to be a feature that you're only going to be able to do on Java. As you, On Java you can place down item frames and signs in the same block space, so you'll only be able to do that on Java. However, if you are not on Java, you can go ahead and very simply just place down the item frame and the white bed and disregard the sign. Continuing on though, we're going to place down another two gray concrete blocks, a stone block here, and then we want to go and then place down a andesite wall, like so. On the inside here, we're going to place down a quartz stair, quartz slab, Birchwood sign on the side of the stair. We then want to place down two gray concrete going back, a stone block, and an inside wall. Again, two gray concrete, a stone block, and a side wall. Or actually, rather, sorry, two stone blocks out to the side here. Now, coming off this stone block, we're going to place down a light gray stained glass pane. At this point in time, both your sides should kind of link up at the same spot. So we should be kind of in the same uh, spot right here, like, like this on both sides. And we should be able to do both sides all together. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down one, two, three stone blocks. And same thing over here, one, two, three. We're going to go ahead and then grab ourselves some stone brick walls. We're going to place down a stone brick wall here, an end rod, stone brick wall, and end rod. Like that for our casemate guns. And same thing over here. So just like that. After that, we're going to go ahead and then grab our andesite walls. We're going to place down two walls going back on both sides. And then we want to go and then take our stone blocks and place down two stone blocks here on the inside. We're going to place down two more blocks going back, so a total of four, and then we're going to take our light gray stainless panes and place them down on the sides here of those stone blocks. Then we want to take our stone blocks again, two more stone blocks back, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves polished black stone buttons. And on both sides here we're just going to place down two polished black stone buttons going back from those stone blocks. We then want to go ahead and place down uh, two stone blocks here on the inside and then one stone block there in the center. And this is going to be followed up with one stone block going toward the back. We're going to take light gray stainless panes. We're going to place down one, two right here. And then one in the corner. Same thing here. One in the corner and one, two like that going forward. 
We'll then take our spruce wood planks and we'll place down a spruce wood plank here and then a row three going across here. And that's really all we need there for the flooring. We can also go ahead and take our stone blocks and just fill this in right there. And that's where our back wall for our little kind of aft deck there is going to sit on. And that right there is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for this layer. Taking a look at from above this we should have for the top down view with layer four all complete. As I mentioned, it is a little bit more complicated as we start to get into these different cubbies and just the different designs on both sides of the ship. So just make sure you're paying close attention and following along as best you can. Um, but yeah, again, here is an overview of what we should have for the top-down view. And with that, that is going to conclude everything we have there for layer 4. And with that, let's move on to layer number 5. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 5. For layer 5, we go ahead and get started with here and place down a stone brick slab on top of this glass pane. And then a second stone brick block, or stone brick slab back from that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood signs. We're going to go ahead and wrap three birchwood signs around this slab like so. After that, we're going to place down a skeleton skull to both sides of that second stone brick slab. We're going to go then place down a stone brick wall here in the center with again a skeleton skull to both sides. Like so, except these skeleton skulls here are going to be on the glass panes. So, just like that. After that, we want to go then place down a um, daylight detector here in the center again. And then we're going to place down a skeleton skull on the glass panes on both sides of it, like so, and we'll turn the daylight detector there to the night mode. With that done, we're going to then place down a wither skeleton skull here in the center, and then a stone break up downstairs to both sides. So, like this, on both sides there, like that. And then after that, we want to go and then place down a end rod on top of these two stone blocks. A iron trap door between them and then we're gonna place down one two and three iron trap doors out to the side and same thing over here three iron trap doors to the side we're gonna go and then grab ourselves some spruce wood pressure plates we're gonna place down a spruce pr wood pressure plate going back from those end rods and we then want to place down another end rod to both sides at this point we're gonna go and then grab ourselves a birch wood fence gate we're gonna place down a birch wood fence gate here open it to the outside of the ship on both ends and we'll then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an item frame and a white bed. We're going to place down an item frame on the fence gate and a white bed rotated sideways in the item frame, like so. With that done, we're going to go ahead and place down another end rod here on both sides. And then we're going to go ahead and then take our stone blocks and place down our row of five going across. Followed by a polished black stone button on both ends of that row of five. So after that right there, we're going to go ahead and then go back from our stone blocks one, two, three blocks, and same thing here, one, two, three blocks. We're gonna go ahead and take our light race, or sorry, first our, yeah, actually, sorry, our light race stainless panes. We're gonna place down two glass panes back, and then an anisite wall, and over here, two light race stainless panes, and then an anisite wall. And that right there is going to uh, basically bring us to our next point in which we're gonna go ahead and start to get into the asymmetry. So we're gonna begin our work over here on the right side, so just like we did before, and we're gonna start off with taking our stone blocks here. Now our stone blocks are gonna go all the way along the side here of the ship, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21 stone blocks in total. We'll then take our polished black stone buttons and run this all the way along the side here of those stone blocks. So just like that. Then after that, we want to go ahead and switch over to stone brick slabs. And we're going to place down two stone brick top slabs. Then we're going to place down two stone blocks here. Two stone brick top slabs. And again, two stone blocks right there. Polished black stone button. And a narrow stone block back from that with a polished black stone button on the side of that one as well. Then on the inside here of the slabs, we're just going to place down our two gray concrete blocks like so. After that's all complete, we want to go ahead and then place down an additional one, two, three, and four stone blocks along the side here. And this is going to be followed up with a stone stair, or stone upside down stair on top of the stone brick wall. And then we're going to place down one and two iron trap doors here and a polished black stone button right there. And this point right here will bring us to basically where we start to reach our symmetry again. So we're going to go and then again focus our attention over here to the left side of the ship. So going ahead and getting started with the left side here, we're going to go and go after this wall here and we're going to place down a stone block like so. Coming off this stone block, however, we are going to go ahead and place down a lever. So just like this. And then a narrow stone block. And then after that lever, we're going to place down a polished black stone button. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stone blocks along the side here of the ship. We want to then grab ourselves some wither skeleton skulls and stone stairs. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on this iron trap door, as well as a stone upside down stair here. 
upside down stair here, polish black stone button, stone upside down stair, polish black stone button, and a stone upside down stair. We'll then take our stone brick slabs here, and we're going to place down two top slabs, then two stone blocks here, and a upside down stair coming off that, like so. Again, two stone brick top slabs, two stone brick, or two stone blocks, stone upside down stair, two stone brick top slabs, two stone blocks, and this uh, is going to have a stone upside down stair here. And then our next set is going to be two stone blocks and then a polished black stone button. So it should look like this here on the side so far. Then continuing onward, to place down again two stone brick top slabs, then a two stone blocks, and a stone upside down stair. Or rather, actually, sorry, just a two stone blocks, so not the stair, polished black stone button. We're going to go then place down two more stone brick top slabs, then again two stone full blocks, and a stone upside down stair here. And then we're going to place down two stone brick top slabs again, two stone brick or two stone full blocks and a polished black stone button. Now for that, on the inside here, we're going to go and take our gray concrete and just behind those stone brick top slabs, we're going to place down our gray concrete, like so. And that right there will basically close off those cubbies again, like that way along the side of the ship. Now going back to this section here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four stone full blocks back, stone upside down stair, come off this first stone block here. Then we want to place down our two iron trap doors and then our polished black stone button. At this point in time, we're equal on both sides here, and we'll go ahead and continue on from them. We're going to place down an andesite wall to both sides, and then a stone upside down stair, like so. We're going to then go behind those blocks with two stone full blocks on both sides. Then another stone full block back, and this, in, this inside section here is going to be filled in with a light gray stainless paint. We're going to place down another stone block going back on both sides, and another stone upside down stair like that to the sides. And then behind these stone stairs, we're actually going to go and swap out the stone block for a glass, like gray stainless paint. And then we're going to place down one, two, three stone full blocks across. Coming off these three stone full blocks, we're going to place down three um, like gray stainless paints. In the center there, we're going to place down a daylight detector. We'll turn that to the night mode. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some birchwood fence gates. We're going to place down a birchwood fence gate on top of this um, glass pane here. And we're going to have this opened up toward the inside here. And same thing here on this side. Coming off that uh, item frame, we're going to place down a item frame and a white bed in the item frame rotated facing sideways. And if you're on Java, we can also go ahead and place down an item frame on top of this glass pane or on top of the fence gate. And we'll go ahead and rotate those bed, those uh, poses or those beds as well. Just note that those item frames there will only be available for Java as we will have a stone slab above them. So just keep that in mind that uh, only Java players will be able to place those. Then continuing on, uh, we're going to go ahead and very simply just place down a redstone repeater here, spread the notches, and then an end rod, and then one more end rod that goes up from this uh, end rod, like so, on the back there. And then we'll just go ahead and grab our spruce pressure plates, and on the remaining stone blocks here on the back, we're just going to place down our spruce pressure plates, like that, to fill that space in. And once we have that all done right there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number uh, 5 for the build. And... Here's a, again an overview of what it should look like for the top-down view with that all complete. And with that all done, that's going to complete layer 5. And with that, we pretty much have one real layer left of doing the kind of hull of the ship. And it, once we're done with that layer, we're going to be going ahead and working on the flight deck and basically the conning tower. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the build. Um, we just have one last layer. This is probably going to be our most difficult layer um, to do. But once we have that all done, we are pretty much going to be... Smooth sailing for the most part, and all that. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number six. Moving into our next layer, we have layer six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with here, we're gonna place down a rail on top of these two stone brick up sound stairs, and then coming off the side of those rails, we're gonna place down a stone slab, like this, going up to the sides there, like so. We're gonna go then place down a stone brick full block behind those slabs, and then on the center here, on top of this iron trap door, we're gonna place down a stone full block and a stone up sound stair to both sides. We then want to place down an iron trap door on top of that iron trap door like that from the previous layer and then an end rod like that out to the sides. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then build basically back from this. We're going to take our stone top slabs and we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five going across. For this section here, we're going to place down a stone top slab in the center, a stone upside down stair like this to both sides and then a stone top slab. Come off the back of those stairs. Then another row of five of stone top slabs across, 
Then we want to go ahead and place down a another stone or an air stone top slab here in the center. A stone up downstairs, the both sides, and a top slab coming out the back of the stairs. Once we have that all done there, we're going to go ahead and go to the sides here. We're going to place down two skeleton skulls on the side of the, these uh, first two blocks here. And then we want to then place down two stone top slabs going back from the skeleton skulls. We're also going to place down a skeleton skull coming off this top slab, like that to both sides. Once we have that done, we're going to take our stone full blocks. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, five full blocks across. And we then want to go ahead and place down one and two stone top slabs. Same thing over here, one and two. Now, at this point, we're also going to go ahead and take our stone blocks and do another row of five going all the way across. And at this section, though, we want to go ahead and go to the... We're going to go ahead and place down actually a row three and then a stone brick full block on both ends. So it should look like this here. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a um, stone upside down stair and then a stone top slab coming off that. Same thing over here, stone upside down stair, stone top slab. We're going to place down another row of three of stone blocks in the center here. And again, another stone brick full block to both sides. Going back from those, uh, we're going down to the side here. We're going to place down a stone upside down stair. And this is going to have a skeleton skull coming off that stair. Same thing over here, stone upside down stair, skeleton skull, and then a stone full block which will be coming off this side of here of the stair. And coming off the stone block, we're going to place down the skeleton skull to both sides. And we do want to fill the inside in here again with stone. So we're just going to fill that in completely like so. At this point in time, we start to get into our asymmetry. So let's go ahead and dive into that. But uh, yeah, that right there is how the front should look so far. With that done, let's go ahead and continue with our right side. Now right side here, we're going to go ahead and go back from this stone block. One, two, three more. We're going to go ahead and go to our last two blocks, place down two skeleton skulls. After those skeleton skulls, we're going to take our stone top slabs, and we're going to place down a long row that's going to go toward the rear of our ship here. So come off the skeleton skull, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, stone top slabs back. On the inside here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of 19 of stone to fill in that little gap there on the inside. After that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then place down two more stone blocks going back and then two skeleton skulls. We're going to place down an air stone block going back. This one followed up with a stone up sound stair coming off the side of it. And we then want to place down again one, two, three stone full blocks. Then two light gray stained glass panes. And then our next uh, block here is going to be a birchwood fence gate. Like so. We're going to open this toward the outside of the ship. And then a skeleton skull coming off that. Now on top of this stone up sound stair we're going to go ahead and grab a stone brick stair. And coming off that stone brick stair, we want to go ahead and place down a dark oak brick fence gate and open it, up, open it toward the stair. Behind the stair, we'll put a stone block. Then going back from this stone block, we're going to place down additional 1, 2, 3, and 4 stone blocks. These are all of which are going to have like racing glass paints. 1, 2, 3, and 4 all on the side here. And we'll just go ahead and then grab ourselves item frames. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4 item frames. And then we're going to place down white beds in those item frames all the way along the side. So just like that. And that right there is going to complete the right side for right now in terms of uh, symmetry. So that's going to be the right side and we're going to go ahead and now move on to the left side which we have a lot more going on here. So we're going to start off with by going ahead and going to this lever. We're going to place down a stone brick stair. Fence gate came off of it, open it up toward the stair. Now between the stairs we want to go ahead and place down a light gray stained glass pane. And we're going to go ahead and place down another stone brick stair. And a narrow fence gate coming off of it. We're going to place down another glass pane right here between the two. Then this is going to be followed up with a stone brick wall. And then an item frame. And then in that item frame, we're going to go ahead and place down a snowball. Just like so. We're going to go ahead and place down another light gray stained glass pane. Another stone brick stair. Dark oak fence gate came off the stair like so. And there light gray stained glass pane. Another stone brick wall. Item frame. Snowball in the item frame. Then to the side of this... Uh, while here, we want to go ahead and grab a birchwood fence gate. So we'll grab one from right here. And we're going to place down a fence gate here coming off this wall. We're going to open this up to the outside. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a skeleton skull on the, coming off the fence gate. We're going to go ahead and place down a uh, stone brick stair on top of this uh, stair here. Put a fence gate coming off of it like so. We then want to grab our like race stainless paints. We're going to place down one, two going back from that stair. Then 
Then another stone brick wall. Item frame. Snowball in the item frame. We'll place down another birchwood fence gate. Open it to the side. And a skeleton skull coming off that fence gate. We then want to place down a light gray, or sorry, rather a stone brick stair on top of this stone stair here. And a dark oak wood fence gate coming off of it, opened up toward it. We're going to go then place down a row of one, two, three light gray stainless panes. Then a birchwood fence gate here, open to the outside, and skeleton skull coming off the fence gate. And then again, one and two light gray stainless panes back. A stone brick stair, dark oak fence gate coming off the stair, opened up toward it. Again, two light gray stainless panes going back, followed by another birchwood fence gate. We're going to open this to the outside. Skeleton skull coming off that stone brick stair, dark oak fence gate coming off the stair, opened up toward it. And then one, two, three, and four light gray stained glass panes back. And on these four glass panes, we're going to place down four item frames with white beds in those item frames rotated to lay horizontally. So like that all the way across. At this point in time we'll go ahead and then take our stone full blocks and we're just going to fill in the entire inside here of what we just did. So we're just going to run this row of stone blocks all the way along the inside here. And that will basically fill in those gaps and create basically our uh, left side here of the ship and all the detailing here for anti-aircraft gun positions and all that. So that right there is going to finish that off. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and start to get it back into the symmetry, so both sides will be the same here. Now we're going to start off by going ahead and going to these two stone stairs. We're going to place down two stone brick stairs on top of those. Dark oak tree fence gates coming off the stairs and open up toward them like this on both sides. We're going to go ahead and take stone blocks, place down one, two, three, one, two, three. On the middle stone block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on both sides. After that's done, uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, row of one, two, three of stone full blocks across the center there. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone uh, brick full block on these glass panes there. Stone top side in the center. And we then want to go ahead and go back from that stone brick full block with a birchwood fence gate. And there's stone top side there in the center. And then along the sides here, one and two stone top slabs to the sides. We're going to go then just do a row of five of top slabs across. And then our last two slabs here, we're going to place down skeleton schools on both ends. With that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for the outline there for the layer. Take a look at it from above to see what you should have for the top down view. Now we also want to go ahead and take this time now to fill the inside in here with stone. So the inside in here will be filled completely with stone. I can do it kind of quickly if rolled at it here, but basically you want the inside filled for sure for this layer because you will have your whole flight deck sitting on top of this. So just make sure that that gets filled in. Very important. And with that all out of the way, that is going to conclude our hole for our ship. And at this point in time, we're going to be moving into the superstructure and the flight deck. So with that, let's uh, go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number seven. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer seven. Layer seven, we do have, again, quite a lot going on here, but this is going to be kind of our last extensive layer. And then after that, it's going to be uh, a lot easier throughout the rest of the build. But um, yeah, this layer here, we're basically set up our flight deck and the beginning of our superstructure. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go, ahead and go to these stone brick full blocks. We're going to place down two stone brick slabs going back from on both sides there. We're going to go ahead and place down two daylight detectors. Turn these to night mode on both sides. And then we're going to follow this up with two iron trap doors on both sides. So they should connect up to these stone brick uh, blocks there in the ground like so. Now once we get to this point here, we want to go ahead and grab an end rod. Or sorry, rather an iron bar. We're going to place it on top of the end rod. And then we're going to go, ahead and go out to the side of those iron bars with one more. Just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and build our kind of cross here. This is going to be a red carpet on both sides here. Black carpet in the center. White carpet in the center. Black carpet to both sides. Again, red carpet to both sides and black in the center. So it'll look just like that. Then go ahead and set up our rail system here uh, for our deck. This is going to be involving taking some... Um, of these rails. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. We're going to go ahead and go over with one like this. So you create a curve. And then we're going to go ahead and create another curve with one going back. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down one like that for right now. And we're going to stop right there. Now, this other row here is going to be slightly different. This is going to be two rails that one goes from the inside to turn it. And then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So we're actually going to go ahead and place down five after this. So we have this curve, then we have one, two, three, four, five rails. And instead, we're going to go ahead and place down an additional two more. And then, um, yeah, two more, actually, sorry, three more. And that's going to curve to the inside here. And then we're going to go back from this rail. So one, two, and three. So it should look something that looks like this here for the, basically the little outline there for that track system. So that's basically what you want right there. And after we have that done, we're going to go then take our white carpet. We're going to place down a white carpet here, skip a space, and we're just going to kind of alternate, going all the way down for a white carpet. Now right here, it kind of gets a little weird because we have our rails here, but we're just going to go ahead and place down a white carpet here after this last rail here. So just like that. And then we're going to go in again, continue the same thing, going all the way back. So just skipping every other space and placing down white carpet. And try not to break your flight deck either. And it will end right there on the back. And that's really all we need to do for that. Now once we have that done, we're going to go back up to the front. We're going to place down a skeleton skull at a slight angle here. And there's a skeleton skull here. One at a slightly altered angle. And then one like that. So you're going to kind of angle them like so. And same thing will be done over here on this side. So just like this to both sides there for the front. Now after that's done, we then want to go ahead and grab our birchwood fence post. We're going to place them down on top of these fence gates. So this fence gate here, this fence gate, this fence gate, and this one here along the left side of the ship. And while we're at it, we can go ahead and also basically just finish off what we're actually doing here. So this is going to go ahead and then go up from the fence gates with two end rods. Like so. And then between these end rods, we're going to take barrier blocks and we're going to place on our row of barrier blocks. If you do not have access to barrier blocks, you can use chains also as an option instead of the barrier blocks. However, once we have that set up, we're going to go ahead and then go to the top of the barrier blocks and we're just going to place down a row of five of stone buttons on top of the barrier blocks. And I'll kind of do this um, cable system or whatever this um, mass system is over here on the side of the ship. And I'll basically wrap that up there. And that's really all we need to do for the starboard, or sorry, the um, port side. And for this, we're going to be going ahead and now focus our attention here to the starboard side, which is where our, our control tower, or I should say our superstructure is and all that stuff. So... For this to get started with, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair that will be on top of this block here. A birchwood fence gate coming off the stair, opened up toward it, and then a birchwood sign on the side of the stair like so. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing going back. There, birchwood fence gate, stone brick stair, and birchwood sign. And then we want to go ahead and again do the same thing one more time. So it's like that. This time, however, we're not going to place down a sign on the side of that. Once we get to this point, we're going to go ahead and take our stone blocks. Uh, we want to place down a row of stone blocks down the center. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uh, stone blocks back. Then going up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and grab our glass panes. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3 glass panes on the right side here. Stone brick wall, glass pane. Over here on the other side, we're going to place down a row of 5 of glass panes going back. On both sides, we're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick upside down stair. And then after that stone brick stair, we're going to place down a glass pane. On both sides, this stone block right here, we're actually going to go ahead and replace with a stone top slab. And we then want to place down a top slab coming off that to both sides. We then want to go ahead and go back with a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 glass panes and 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Like that. On the back here, we're going to do our same trick here for our guns. This is going to be a stone brick stair. Fence gate coming off it like so, open toward it. A narrow stone brick stair. Fence gate open toward it, and an air stone brick stair for fence gate open toward it. We'll then take our skeleton skulls. We're gonna place down one two, and one two over here as well. And with that all done, there, uh, basically the last thing for us to really do here, um, structure wise, is to go ahead and build our crane. So our crane here is pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and bang out the whole crane since we're at it. Uh, but this is gonna be an, an anvil on top of the stone upstairs stair here, stone brick top slab going forward. And then we're going to place down a chain on top of this glass pane. We're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of the chain. A lever coming off the slab going forward. And then a wither skeleton skull on top of that anvil. So it should look something like that there for that little crane there on the back. And after we have that all done, that is pretty much it for that. Uh, we'll also go ahead and cover something real quick for our cabling here. And this is going to be a barrier block that comes off this end rod here toward the back. A button that comes down and we're just going to go ahead and kind of come down like a staircase. 
So using the same technique, like that, and it's going to kind of come down angled, and once our barrier blocks disappear, it'll look just like that there on the back. And also, we're going to do the same thing up here in the front. So we're just going to kind of come down here, this kind of alternating um, staircase, or kind of, yeah, basically staircase come down, just like we did for the back, and it'll look the same thing way like that. We'll let our barrier blocks disappear, and that right there is what it will look like. So just like that. And with that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up that. And the last thing really for us to do now is to go ahead and take spruce wood pressure plates. And we are just going to go ahead and cover the remaining top of the deck here. Wherever there's stone, fence gates or whatever, we're going to place down our pressure plates. So basically just go ahead and grab your spruce pressure plates and go ahead and start placing. And just make sure you don't forget these little spots right up here around the uh, front here. But once you have that all done there, that's pretty much good. And we also have these two spaces here at the side, as well as the two spaces. So just make sure you get those little spaces as they kind of uh, can be overlooked very easily. But once you have that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have there for uh, basically layer 7. And again, take a look at it from above so we should have the top down view. As you can see, your ship's really starting to come together. It's starting to look like an aircraft carrier. And uh, we are almost complete with Graf Zeppelin. With that though, we'll be moving into our next layer, which will be layer number 8. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number 8. For layer 8, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this stone block and a birchwood fence, or sorry, sign on the side of that stair. We then want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull to both sides, like so. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab back and another skeleton skull on both sides. We're going to go ahead and place down an anvil in the center, another skeleton skull to both sides like that. And then we want to go and then take our stone brick slabs and we're going to place down a row three across. This is going to be followed with a birchwood sign on both ends. We then want to place down a light gray wool block in the center there and a skeleton skull on top of these glass panes to both sides. We're going to go then place down a stone brick stair in the center and this is going to be followed up with a lever on these two stone brick uh, upside down stairs of both sides like so. We're going to go ahead and then place down a stone brick wall that goes back, a iron trapdoor to both sides of that wall. And then we're going to go then place down a row of three of iron trapdoors across. We then want to place down two stone blocks back, two light gray stained glass panes on both sides, another iron trapdoor here, a stone brick stair like so, and then a light gray wall block. And that right there is pretty much it. <laughs> that right there is going to conclude layer eight pretty simple straightforward stuff um, and we just kind of get a little bit more of our uh, superstructure built up a little bit at this point in time though we will be going ahead and moving into our final layers so we'll just go ahead and kind of wrap this build up from that point on but again here is our superstructure so far and both sides are pretty much the same so that right there is going to conclude layer number eight and with that we'll be moving on to our last final layers all right guys so let's go ahead and move into our final layers our final layers here we have layers 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so layers 9 through 15. let's get started first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down an end rod on top of this stone brick stair here we're going to then follow this up with an anisite wall that goes up and then two more end rods like so on the very top end rod there we're going to go ahead and then place down a birchwood sign, or rather, sorry, a birchwood fence gate to both sides, like so. And then we're going to place down one more end rod on top. We're going to go then go forward from this inside wall with an iron trap door. And we're going to go then go off the iron trap door with iron bars. So one iron bar here, and then one out to both sides, like so. That's going to kind of complete our front mass. We're also going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on top of this anvil, as well as an end rod to both sides. We then want to place down a gray wool block on top of this stair here. And then we're going to go ahead and then place down a total of three more stone brick walls on top of this one. So one, two, three. On the top here, we're going to place down a stone block. Then out to the sides from that stone block, we want to go ahead and place down two birchwood fence gates. After that, we're going to go ahead and then go off this stone brick wall with an iron trap door. We're going to place down a row three of iron bars across. And then at this point, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some barrier blocks and stone buns again. Again, you can use chains as an alternative. Going off the uh, fence gates to the sides here, we're going to place down three and then three stone buns on the side of those blocks. 
Then coming off the front mast here, we're going to go ahead and place down two barrier blocks going back. And again to the side here, two stone buttons. So that's going to kind of complete some of our rigging there between our forward mass. Now going ahead and continuing on top of this uh, mass here, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone slab on the very top here. This is going to be followed with a birchwood sign, which will be coming off the slab here facing forward. And then to the sides, we'll be going ahead and placing down a skeleton skull. Like that to both sides. We then want to place down an iron trap door here on the back of this stone block. And then two iron trap doors, or sorry, three iron bars across the top there. And then going up from the middle iron bar, we're going to place down two end rods that go up. Optionally, on the very top here, you can place down a barrier block. And if you have the German flag here handy, you can also place the German flag on the side here. It's pretty simple to make. Um, just kind of pause here for a second if you need to. You can make the banner pretty easily. Uh, but basically, it's just a white, uh, white vertical line, white horizontal line, then the black cross, and then the little dot there in the center. And that's pretty much it um, on the red banner to make the flag. So pretty simple. Again, optional feature you can throw on there. At this point, though, we'll go ahead and then go up from these stone blocks. We're going to place down one, two, one, two. And then at this point, we want to go and then grab our polished blackstone. We're going to place down polished blackstone full block and a slab here. Now on the sides, we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes. On the, on the, sorry, on the left side. On the right side, it's going to be slightly different. We're going to go and grab some stone stairs and we're going to place down two stone stairs. Now we want to go and then grab an item frame. And we're going to go ahead and grab our snowball. We're going to place down an item frame here coming off the stair and a snowball in the item frame. Then on top of this, these two stairs, we're going to place down two light gray stainless panes. On the other side over here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair right here, and then a light gray stainless pane. Coming off the stone brick stair facing toward the front, we're going to place down an item frame and a snowball in the item frame. Then with that all complete, we'll be going ahead and going to the top here. We'll grab ourselves a black stainless pane. We'll place it on the side of this block here to both sides. And then grabbing a wither skeleton skull, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this light gray stainless pane to both sides, like so for our funnel. On the very back here, we're going to go ahead and grab our fence gates here, dark oak wood and birch wood. We're going to place down a dark oak wood here, open it toward the stone block, then a birch wood, open it toward the stone block there, and then a stone brick wall on top of that right there with an item frame and a snowball in the item frame going back. We'll then place down a light gray wool block on top of this stone brick stair here. And we'll then take our narrow brick fence post. We're going to go ahead and place down a fence post on top of this. Then we're going to go ahead and go up like a staircase. Going back like so. So we have a total of three narrow brick fence posts. And we will place down end rods on both ends of this last one up on top here. Now at this point, we'll go ahead and take our barrier blocks. We're going to place down three barrier blocks going back from these fence gates. For our middle mass there. And it's going to have three stone buttons on the sides. We'll then take our barrier blocks and we'll go ahead and go three barrier blocks forward from those end rods and again stone buttons on both ends. And once you have that all done, that right there is going to conclude layers 9 through 11 for, for Graph Zeppelin. And with that, that will complete my tutorial here altogether for the KMS Graph Zeppelin, Graph Zeppelin class aircraft carrier. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. This is our first uh, carrier for the um, cruise marine and really probably our only carrier we'll ever do unless we want to explore some World of Warships content. But yeah, this right here is going to be the um, main carrier for Europe after build fleets for Germany if you're looking for an actual real historical ship. Um, anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This is going to be the link from the sound of the build link to my channel or this video if this does appear to your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for your freezer for projects you guys are working on. Um, in addition, again, again, the big special links to Patreon supporter Koya for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett204 and I'll see you guys next time.